well, we did have a question from, uh, let me just get this set up, from Vit Tanev, who uh, says, question for Mr. Cash. I understand the creation of the orange or anything else out there as it is created on the same principle. Are, are the seeds within the orange or apple or etc. the product of completion of plasmatic creation as it also builds its memory for reproduction? More or less, yes. More or less, yes. If we look, most of the seeds are replication of the fruit. Look at the shape of the apple seed, the orange seed. It's a replication of the end product. That's, that is what creates uh, the, the condition. Now we see seedless fruit, but the energetic information inside is still the same. The, the, the genetic memory, as you call it, or magnetic gravitational field strength in order to regenerate or create, is the field which not only produced in the fruits, but by the tree itself, by the branches, by the leaves, how the leaves change and then transfer that information to be seeded in the seed itself, to be as part of its memory. It's not that the seed is there just for the fruit. The behavior, the atmosphere, the condition which the tree exist affects the flow of the plasma, what we call liquid plasma inside it, and it's memorized, it's brought back and it's deposited in every seed, but not necessarily just by the by, by the flow of the liquid, the sap, but by actually the gravitational magnetic field of the plant itself. So every leaf transfers its energy this information to the seed. So a fruit is a center to receive all the information, not necessarily physically, but through the fields from the other part of the tree. How to communicate with the trees nearby. Because it's a field interaction. Man has got a lot to learn about vertical people. A lot. That's how they evolve the information they receive and they embed it in the seed. They don't go anywhere. They just literally with the tentacles, which is the leaves and the branches, gather information. If they need water, they don't need water. How much it needs to be done, what it needs to deposit, what they need to change slightly to see. Um, um, there is a very interesting phenomena, which sometime in the future we have to speak about. Have you ever asked yourself, how come the tree releases information from itself that it allows the bird to evolve to be able to use it for their food? The tree looks, the branches look, what in this environment can exist, how it needs to evolve slightly that it creates a different environment for it to be existing in comparison to the other trees. And then it transfers this information into the every part of the tree, the seed, the stem, the trunk. And then collectively they decide to create a slightly different color or different depth of flower that they attract specific kind of animals because these animals can't eat. There is a food they need to be specialized in that the animal evolves to fit the evolution of the plant, which the plant itself used it from its environment to evolve itself. The, the structure, 
how does this information carries in one seed that you can take a seed to another environment and it doesn't exist, you cannot grow it. It's not just the temperature and the, uh, in what you call uh, the environment there, it's the seed which decides this environment for what I was brought up does not fit in me, I don't, it doesn't grow. So and what we do, we replicate the environment for the plant to grow in that environment. I'm sorry, Mr. Kesh, can we get the, the, is the, 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 the a fruit carries all the information of the environment with it, what the environment it needs to survive in. Can keep the, Are, you're saying, years. like in this case, there's no, there's no seed as such, it's, isn't it a seedless type, um, orange normally, I guess. Oh, right? there was a seed in it, I looked for it, I deliberately looked for it. Uh -huh. There were seeds in it. There were even the small seeds in the little orange. Oh, really? So oh, okay. uh, it was that it was seedless. It's, it's a seed. It's inside it. So it's the or, this orange, do you think it actually started from a seed then, or did it start from the the, the plasmatic environment itself and and so on? It's it, it looks like a plasmatic. Actually, what because... it looks like. You, if you look at it very strange way, very, very strange way, it looks like one of the seeds has grown inside itself. You know, when it was building up, when it was a small, and the first seed of the orange was created, or the environment for the first seed, somehow the, the, the plant has separated one of the seeds internally itself and has become growing and creating the environment for the orange. Uh, the, the, this is why, as I said, in the farming, these seedless fruits or the, the way they create them that they cannot produce another one that you always have to buy new seeds is in a way can be overwritten because you can take that layer of energy off the old air comes on, the plant will come with the seed. Um, the, the genetic manipulation, if you understood the picture of the orange, is so easily reversible. It's so easily reversible. You can change even if a, a seed changes or you want to find the original seed. Just leave it in the guns, change the environment of it, take its energy out, and you see the change. We go back layer by layer. Mr. Kesh, yes. uh, this is Azar again. I have a question. What is the effect of the genetically modified food on our body? Um, a lot and very little because a little changed on the top. And as we discussed in agriculture teaching, all you need, you have to bring. When you modify a seed, you interfere with his life. It's like somebody who doesn't want a jacket, you put a jacket on him and you tighten his sleeves, he can't get out of it. Now you understand this, you buy genetic, genetic, genetically modified food or seed, all you need to do, just put it for a few minutes, as they are doing now in the agriculture section, in a gas of CO2, you bring it to its peace balance. Put it in the field, Go back, the way I taught you today, further, I've told this before, but it's been ignored or people don't understand. Zinc, the copper and zinc brought physicality and emotion. The bloodline to it was this. Look for bloodline for magnesium which is for the plants. And then you find the emotion of the plants. And then you know if you hurt them or not, and how you can use it for your own advantage. Because they're all connected. All this structure is connected to one thing. They have one thing in common, and that's the amino acid. Otherwise, there is no difference. Different plants use different combination of copper or whatever, and different plant use, different kind of zinc, 
you find out what relates to the man, you can change the emotion of the man. But when it's genetically modified, it's an access. It's like a virus. Genetic modification is a virus into the plant. And we've seen how we used by Ghana Atomic to uh, destroy all the viruses in one go, zero, zero, zero. We saw the report. You do the same thing with genetic modified. You can detect the energy from it, so it's no modification. It's very easy. The worst thing they did, they created a modification of the um, crop. And now <clears throat> we were talking about it yesterday in agricultural teaching. Just add a CO2. You bring peas, find out the emotion length of the, uh, what do you call it, material of the vegetation, which is, you be, I've talked about it many times. And then you find out it's not very far. You look at it, it's not very far. You've seen the physicality to the emotion of the man considering the iron. Do the same thing, consider this, you find the material which touches the emotion. And then all you need to do, just make a gun of it automatically. Monsanto is Monsanto. Man sending it out. You don't need to be there. It's instantaneously. There is no need for genetic modification because it affects the field in the body of the man in positioning the field of the ganses is spreading and it can lead to a lot of problem. But even if you find this, this emotion side of the, uh, what do you call it, vegetation, by taking this exactly as you do with zinc oxide, any effects of modification can be washed out of the body of the man. You bring it into balance. Because in your body, you have strength for matter state or uh, vegetation state or uh, what you call uh, balanced fields. And you can balance it very easy by matching the same. Very easy. All these criminal activities done to control man with this technology is zero. I'm not going there because it's already done. The same with vaccination.